The reason of our hybrid unit associate system is the need of the market to make buildings more eco-friendly. We search for uh, innovative ways how we can uh, make a facade which will have a good thermal transmittance values, less energy consumption. Our uh, hybrid unitized facade is basically compromises from the aluminum and polyamide uh, composite profiles, which protects the inside from the outside weather, from the harsh conditions. And uh, this timber part is the main load-bearing frame, which contributes to the stiffness and robustness of the facade unit. Since the timber is a less conductive material than aluminium, we also improving the thermal performance of the facade. We did researches and uh, with the hybrid unitized facade, we found out that uh, we could save up to 70% of the embodied carbon dioxide comparing to the conventional aluminium. We had institutional partners, uh, universities to be exact, Sintef, Oslomed and KTU. Sintef and Oslomed helped us with the big data collections. KTU helped us uh, with the integrity of the timber in the hybrid unitized facade. So we worked with a few timber suppliers and we need to find the one who can provide us precisely cut uh, wooden beams. Then we worked with uh, coating manufacturers and then found uh, the one who can provide us the best uh, protection uh, of the wood uh, at, at the same time look as uh, natural as possible. So then we found all these suppliers, then we started to implement it in our factory. Manufacturing of a hybrid facade system combines traditional wood cutting techniques with uh, modern manufacturing methods. The wood profiles uh, processing in a controlled factory environment with uh, precision machinery. This involves uh, cutting, shaving uh, and finishing wood profiles to the required statement. As a project team, we had to be sure that everything is moving as a plan. Before implementing new facade systems into the market, of course, we have to test it. We have to test facade performance, uh, reaction to fire, behavior in climate conditions. And only when the test results are good, uh, we are implementing it to the projects. And we can show to our clients that this facade is performing well in any conditions. Packaging logistics uh, and installation, we always need to think about protection. Even when the packaging, we need to think how to pack that, that hybrid system and not letting to go humidity inside, but letting humidity outside. So we just used special foil for a packaging. Logistics, we need to plan carefully. We cannot uh, produce too much in front uh, because we cannot uh, store it too long, uh, the timber. That's why we, the better planning needed for logistics. On installation, uh, we use a protection every day. For example, we install, we close it, we protect it through the night, and next day we open and install again continuously. One of the main challenges of the hybrid unitized facade is the risk that mold has on the structural integrity of the wood profiles inside the facade. Having sensors to understand how long has it been excessively humid inside the facade and if there's a risk of mold. The, our system will help us detect mold when it's happening and then send the message to us so that we can provide the building management system with instructions on how to do either ventilate the room, increase the temperature inside the room, reduce the temperature inside the room, whatever is required to be able to do so that uh, circumstances where mold occurs in our facades does not occur. We are always looking for some improvements of the facade. One of them would be to bond the glass units directly to the timber so we can further reduce the aluminum consumption and further reduce the embodied carbon dioxide within the facade. Timber itself, the solid wood, is very natural material. It even feels differently when you are in the, such a kind of building with timber structures. The natural look of wood gives you a coziness, comfort. The hybrid unit, I to say, is our staticus vision of how the facade should look. We create a better value for the client and the residents inside the building. <laughs>